Hi, it's Rebecca Cook, Occupational Therapist, Transformational Coach, and today I'm going to share a little bit more of my private side. And I was born sensitive with a hidden type of disability that's called pyrrole disorder. And it, um, I also have what's the genetic undermethylation. I know those are big words, but uh, in general what it does is it amplifies the stress. Um, and especially the stress of noise and busyness around people. So it keeps me wanting to, you know, be in quiet atmospheres by myself. Um, and being born that way, that wasn't my fault. But because of how I experienced life, there are ways that I responded that um, weren't exactly the way that God would want for me. And what I mean is, I pretended as though everything were fine. I kept everything inside that was bothering me, and I would present a fake me to others. Um, it was kind of like people pleasing, and I had um, uh, that kind of personality was pretty draining because it really wasn't authentically me. And I was totally fine isolating and being unconnected to others. In fact, it was my normal, and I didn't realize that. Um, there was other ways. I saw other people have other ways, but I couldn't feel it inside. In 2021, I got COVID and I experienced such intense sickness and a fear of dying that my body was vibrating with it. I don't know if you've ever had that where your body actually just vibrates with a fear. Um, it's, it's at a pretty deep level. The worry of death um, came in with that, I experienced sorrow for not being more connected with people with that authentic, deep heart connection. There's something I felt was missing, and now I might die, and I might never have that chance. How could I leave that way? Um, and then I had an image of being held in God's hand, and it was a very safe feeling, like a baby that was curled up completely fitting in the hand of this this giant um, and it felt so peaceful and so protected um, and I kept turning to that image day after day as I was healing from COVID and felt God's love just fill me and remove the fear and give me a chance um, a, another chance and also a desire to initiate connection with my parents, with my husband, with my animals, in that same unconditional way. There was something like a switch flipped in me. Um, and I also placed the people that I loved in God's hands just the way I felt like I was in God's hands because I knew that if I weren't to make it, he could care for them even better than I could. And when I did that little bit of surrender, there was something that really lifted, like a weight that lifted off my heart, like that, that caretaker's weight that, that um, you can have when you're a people pleaser. And the fruit of that was when I surrendered to God's loving care and knew in every cell of my being that he loved everyone the way that he was holding me and loving me, I faced death the fear of death with God at my side and I felt a deep sense of safety and acceptance and connection ability to connect in a way I'd never felt before God's love and accepting me just how I was allowed me to finally feel like I was okay with those hidden parts of me that I tried to keep hidden those I call it like a hidden disability and um, I was imperfect and I was fallible and I could have even, you know, died. I had no control over that part of my body and it was still okay. There was something that changed. Um, I was able to be fallible, um, imperfect, sensitive, hidden, the hidden vulnerable side. It was okay. And when I finally came to that like level of self-acceptance, 
I could really authentically care and connect with those I, I loved. And um, I actually started acting differently. And I started uh, being able to take care of people and say yes in a, in a way where I didn't feel drained. I actually felt in my heart, I just felt really close to the people I was um, reaching out to. And, and it just, the I'm still sensitive. I still have a genetic issue with underbethylation and in, uh, in the pyrrole where I'll, I'll need like the supplements of zinc. I've talked about that in another video. Um, and um, vitamin B6 and evening primrose oil to help me with that. That's something that's in my genetics, in my body. But um, the ability of that to stop me from being able to feel that love and connection for others has changed. And God did that. And if you had the opportunity to experience the presence of God in your life, would you want to? Would you be open to Him? Would you surrender all of your imperfections and all of yourself to Him? Because when I did, it really made a difference. And I just wanted to uh, bless you with a little bit of my behind the scenes of my story. And also just say a prayer that everything that I experience be released into your life um, and that you can uh, have some relief from your stress and feel the love of God in a very real way that makes a difference where it just bubbles out of you so much that you can love others with it. And that's it. Read my description. I always come up with more to talk about there.